Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Megs and this is The Painted Lip. I'm going to start be starting to do some series on decluttering. Today's video is going to be foundation, so yeah, let's get started. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury's uh, Light Wonder. This is the Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. I prefer this one over to her Magic Foundation. This one gives a beautiful luminosity uh, to the skin, as it, the, the name would suggest. <laughs> I have it in the color Too Fair, and while I feel like it is a little too light for me right now, the tone of it would probably be perfect. It may be, uh, it may have gone bad, so I don't want to necessarily use it on my skin. I will try it out to see if I need to throw it out um, and have a good little sniff test and so forth like that, but this is a maybe, or to throw out. The next one is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I have it in the color NC20. That's what that's what I am right about now. Uh, and this is really lovely too. Long lasting, makes my skin look really nice. Um, however, it only has a six month kind of shelf life, which is which is strange to me because most of them are a year, if not two years. So this I may want to try out again. Um, try out with try this out um, and if I feel like it's gone bad I'm going to back to Mac it. Okay. Next is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have it in the color Soft Beige. It's not a perfect match. I didn't like the how it looked on my skin. I didn't like the finish of it. Uh, this is going to be going. I'm not going to say much more about that. Uh, next. This is Next is the Shiseido Synchro Skin. This is the Lasting Liquid Foundation. I have it in the color N or Neutral 2. Uh, this is the lasting one, not the, the luminizing glow one. I love it. It has a pump on it. It makes your skin look like skin. It just kind of melts together. It looks beautiful. Beautiful finish. Don't know about the lasting part of this name, but um, I'm going to try it very soon to see how long it does last on the skin. Sephora. This is the Sephora version of Air Flash from Dior. Uh, and I bought it purposefully for that because I do, I do use and I have used in the past the Air Flash. And I have it in the color Fair. It's far too light. Uh, I don't use it from the can. And it has definitely a yellow tone to it. Um, it's it's nice on the skin. It's I wouldn't say as nice as the Air Flash, but it's it it is pretty. Um, but I am getting rid of it. Okay, next. Let's see here. What do we have? Next is the Josie Marin uh, Vibrancy foundation. It's a fuller coverage. It has a beautiful radiance to the skin. I have it in the color Cosmic, which is the G15. So it's got golden undertones. I find it a little bit too light and maybe maybe it would have been better off with the rose gold, which is the neutral kind of tone, but I do like it. it makes my skin look healthy, so that's I'm keeping that. Okay. This is the Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona has two foundations, I believe, um, but this is the Face Glow Foundation. It's a little bit thicker than I, th than I originally thought. Um, has a pump to it. Um, beautiful color for my skin tone. This is a 20. Um, it's more on the olive but not gray. <laughs> uh, it has SPF in it as well. The one thing I will say, it does have a scent to it, which I'm not all that crazy about, but I love the finish of this, so that's not going anywhere. This, while not a foundation, is something that you can use in conjunction with foundations. Uh, and this is the Burberry, what is it, the Fresh Glow Golden Radiance. This, this is the number two. It's a luminous fluid um, base. You can use this under, with, or on its own. And I can't use it because now there's like a blue hue to it. So it's gone bad. So we're going to be chucking that. <laughs> No, not even that, without it. No hesitation whatsoever. Okay, next is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup, SPF 30. Have it in the color 2N1. I love this, this is beautiful. I don't wear, and I don't use a lot of Estee Lauder, but um, 
This is absolutely stunning. I just wonder if the color is still right for me because when I purchased it, I was a little bit darker. Uh, my tan had pretty much faded, but I still had a tan nonetheless. Uh, anyway, I put a MAC pump on it, so there's a little tip, guys, if you don't necessarily uh, like the kind of pouring it into your hands, the MAC uh, pumps will, will work, so this isn't going anywhere either. Okay. Uh, next, this is next is the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, it's I have it in the color ivory, and I hate it. So that's going. I don't need to say any more about it. I don't like the color. I don't like the finish. I don't like it. <laughs> next is the Givenchy. Uh, this is the Photo Perfection Fluid 100% uh, Natural Looking Complexion. Um, conceals flaws. Well. Yeah, I guess so. I wore it last night. I have it in the color Perfect Praline. I found the shade lighter, so it's vanilla. I think Perfect Vanilla um, is a little bit too light for me. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. I do enjoy the look of it. It's kind of a natural satin matte or soft matte. Um, yeah, it might be a little too dark for me right now, but I do enjoy it. So but I can make it work. <laughs> Next. Uh, Water Drop Tinted Foundation, SPF 30. This is in the color Warm Ivory. Um, it just doesn't do anything for me. I think I went to Holika, to Holika to look for the BB Jelly whatever cream, and for some reason I was persuaded or you know swayed to go to this one instead. So. Don't use it. I have so many that I like already that I just don't feel like I'm gonna, gonna get the use out of it and I might just pass this along. Okay. Next. These, okay, this is my favorite foundation. This is the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I have it in two colors, 113 and 213. 213 is definitely more for the olive girls out there. Uh, I quite enjoy it and there's, you can't maybe see it in this light, but, um, this one definitely is more olive. This is, has more warmth to it. Um, um, I think 113 suits me a little bit better than the 213. 113 is maybe a little bit shade too light. However, I, can, I may not be able to keep it because I do feel like it's it may be expired and I don't like putting anything expired on my fists. So I'll try it out, see how I like it, and if it if the formulation hasn't changed in terms of gone bad, I'll keep it, but if not, I'm going to throw it out. So those may be going somewhere, except for the 213. Okay, next. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I have it in the color Golden Ivory, which is a light, I think a light to light medium, um, obviously warm color. Might be a little too warm for me, but I like it because it makes my skin look healthy as opposed to kind of like ashy and ghost-like. Um, it has an SPF 20 in it, which is great. Uh, make sure your skin's well moisturized with this. When I first tried it, I didn't. I felt like my skin was moisturized, but it probably wasn't as well hydrated as it should have been. And it's picked up flakies on my skin. Second time I used it, my skin looked flawless. So that's nice. Has good lasting capabilities with it as well. Okay. I've already spoken about Air Flash with regards to the Sephora. Um, while I love the finish of this, uh, I haven't used it in a while. This is going because I don't understand. It didn't do anything for my skin. It's a CC primer for the Air Flash. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Gullible! That would be me. Um, so this is in color 201. I do feel it's a little bit too dark and maybe a little bit too golden for me right now. Um, I generally use 200 level. It's more of a neutral tone. Um, but this has been... I've had it in my collection for a while, so I will get rid of it. And because I probably won't repurchase just for the sheer sake that it is quite expensive and it isn't my holy grail. So... There's that. Okay, moving on. Next is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup SPF uh, 20 Normal Dry Formulation in the color 150 Buff. Um, I like this. It's very full coverage. I'm not a big 
a lover of full coverage foundation, I like the fact that it has a pump. Um, so when I feel like my skin needs a little bit more or want that porcelain kind of flawless, absolutely perfection, I would probably reach for this. Um, however, I feel like 150 is a little bit too light for me right now. Um, so maybe in the dead of winter, I might get away with this, but I do like the tone of it, the fact that it doesn't have a yellow undertone, um, which is nice. So um, we'll see. We'll see if I keep that around. Okay, moving on. This is the Cover Effects Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in the color N20. This is beautiful, has a really high pigment load. You don't need that much, which is why I loved it. I used to use it on brides all the time. Um, and the finish was beautiful. Uh, coverage was lovely. It didn't make me look like a greasy mess. Um, however, I probably won't repurchase it. Uh, we'll finish up what I have here and then, um, and then that's... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Light went off. Stopped filming. I have it in 202 and 204. I purchased 202 because I thought it would be appropriate for my skin tone. It's a little, it's far too light. So I bought 204 because I thought it was the next kind of level up in terms of the yellow undertone. Um, it has a little bit leaning up to pinky. So if I, I'm hoping to mix the two and hopefully get the perfect color. But I love the full coverage and radiance, so that's not going anywhere. Okay. Next, Kogendo again, but it's a different different foundation. This is the moisture foundation. I find it more moisturizing than the aqua foundation. Uh, it has, a, I feel like, a little more coverage as well. I have it in the color 112. Uh, I do feel like it's a little too light for me. Uh, and, you know, I've used quite a bit of it, which is great. But I probably won't repurchase it because I do prefer the aqua foundation to this one. And this is fairly pricey too. Uh, and it's a little bit harder to get a hold of. I have to buy it through Beautylish. So I'll finish off what's here uh, and then I won't, I won't repurchase. So that's not really going to go anywhere. I'm not going to throw it out, but... Yeah. Next uh, is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. Have it in the color C1. There's 50 mils in here, which is more than the standard 30, obviously. Um, this I love. It's very similar to the Aqua, not Aqua, sorry, the Water Blend from Makeup Forever. I find in terms of finish, not in terms of the actual formula. This isn't going to go anywhere. This is the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundation. It's also a 50 mil, so that's really nice to know. And this is a Y225, um, which I think is a little bit light for me, but this is my favorite, favorite foundation, or it has been. Uh, I love the finish of this. I love the coverage of this. The color used to be perfect for me. I think it's a little light for me now, but I just, I love this foundation. Love it, love it. I recommend it to people when they just want something light. Um, anyway, it's beautiful. That's not going anywhere. Next, this is new to me. It's the Glossier Perf Perfecting Skin Tint, and it's just that. It's a tint. It's not meant to give you any coverage whatsoever. Um, I, I tried it once, did not like it. It's also far too light for me, um, but I may be able to make it work. Um, I'll try it out. If, if not, then I'm going to throw it out. So, yeah. Okay, this is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, SPF 42. I have it in the color uh, Light Beige, which is number 21. Um, this is a gray. Uh, <laughs> it's a very weird color. <laughs> I don't I like the finish of it. I was, I, I guess I was expecting a lot because I heard so many good things about this particular BB cream. Um, and I think a lot of the true BB creams from Korea do you have that kind of grayish tint? I'm going to throw it out. I know I purchased it last year, um, which is a shame because I, I looked for this high and low. So that makes me, it makes me a little sad. Um, next is, <laughs> what's that voice? Next is the Catrice uh, HD Liquid Coverage. This is in the color uh, Sand Beige 030. It's mattifying and it says a second skin effect. 30 mil, it's a glass bottle. It has a dropper. I uh, haven't tried it yet, so that's not going anywhere because I literally just received it the other day. So, yeah. Okay, next. Another MAC foundation. This is the Matchmaster, say that five times fast, Match Master 
cushion foundation in 1.0. Uh, I like it. I like the fact that uh, I think you can just ha you just have to replace the cartridge rather than the whole packaging. Um, I think it's a little too light for me now. It has a good amount of coverage despite it being just a cushion foundation. If it's turned, then we are going to get rid of it and back to Mac it. Okay, I think we're almost done here. Yes. So I want to talk about the Ordinary Foundation. I know Ordinary blew up last year and later part of 2016. Okay, I have this foundations, the serum foundations in 2.0N and then 1.2N in the full coverage. I actually don't mind these foundations. Um, these aren't really going to go anywhere. I'm going to try them out a little bit more. If I don't like them, then I mean, I don't like wasting money, but they were $6.95. I got one from... My sister gave me one, pardon me. She didn't like it, that's why I have two of the same. Test them out, if I like them, I like them. If I don't, they're gone. That, that's how I look at it. Uh, and I think that's it for foundations, I wanna say. Yeah, so I have gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have, it looks like, six that are maybes that are gonna go so potential 14 out of my foundation collection are gonna be leaving me so I feel good about that so now I can buy more <laughs> no Megan you're done for right now anyway thanks for watching guys I hope you have a great start to your 2018 and I'll see you in the next video which is hopefully my eyeshadow collection take care bye